To get the free notes of electrical circuits, check the link in the comment section and install the app for free. Norton's theorem. Question: Find the value of current I by using Norton's theorem. Solution. First of all, let's see what is Norton's theorem. Norton's theorem states that a linear two-terminal circuit can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a current source I n in parallel with resistance R n. Where I n is the short circuit current at the terminals, and R n is the equivalent resistance at the terminals when all the independent sources are turned off, and it is connected to load resistor R L. This will be load resistor R L, and this will be load current I L. The formula to calculate I L is this is according to current division rule it will be i n multiplied by r n divided by r n plus r l now this circuit is called as norton's norton's equivalent equivalent circuit now let's copy this circuit and first of all let's find the value of rn so to find rn remove RL and turn off sources, or we can write turn off all independent sources. This question consists of only independent sources, so that's why we are writing turn off sources. We have to turn off all the independent sources. So when we first step is to remove RL. So here the RL value is 3 ohm. Here we can write RL is equal to 3 ohm and this IL here we can see we have to find this current I. So this will be our RL and this I will be IL that is load current. So here we can write IL is equal to small i. So now let's remove this RL from here and now this will be our RN that is Norton's resistance and next step is to turn off sources. Now when we turn off a voltage source that time it will be short circuited here both are the voltage source so it will be short circuited now we can easily find the value of rn so rn is equal to here we can see this 2 ohm and 1 ohm are connected in series so it will be 3 ohm and this 3 ohm and this 2 ohm are connected in parallel so here we can write let's solve this like this it will be 3 ohm and this is 2 ohm so here we can write 3 ohm parallel with 2 ohm so it will be 3 multiplied by 2 divided by 3 plus 2 so when we solve this so it will be 3 into 2 divided by 3 plus 2 so it is 1.2 ohm this is the value of rn now next step is to find the value of Norton's current I n. So here we can write step number 2 to find I n that is Norton's current 
first step is to remove RL and short circuit short circuit the terminals so let's remove the rl so when we remove this rl from here and then we have to short circuit this now this current will be our in now we have to find the value of this in so we can find this by using let's say we will find this by using mesh analysis or let's say we will find this by using superposition theorem so to find to find i n we will use we will use superposition theorem superposition theorem so now let's copy this circuit again and our step number 1 will be step number 1 consider we have to consider this 5 volt voltage source first consider 5 volt voltage source and turn off turn off all other sources all other sources so now when we turn off this 4 volt voltage source it will be short circuited and now this current will be i prime now here we can see these two terminals are short circuited so this two ohm will be zero so let's copy this circuit again and this will be zero now because it is short circuited now we can easily find the value of i n prime i n prime will be equal to v by r the value of voltage is 5 volt and the value of resistance will be 2 plus 1 3 so it will be 5 by 3 5 divided by 3 so it is 1.66 or we can write 5 by 3 only 5 by 3 ampere since it is current so its unit will be ampere so i n prime is equal to 5 by 3 5 by 3 ampere and its direction is downward so here it will be downward now next step is to consider next step is to consider this 4 volt voltage source and turn off all other independent sources so let's turn off step number 2 is consider consider 4 volt 4 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources all other sources now when we turn off this voltage source again it will be a short circuit when we turn off a voltage source that time it will be short circuit and when we turn off current source that time it will be open circuited now this time this current will be i double prime now here we can see this one ohm and two ohm are connected in series and it is short circuited so its value will be zero again we will copy this so when its when the value of resistance is zero that means we can remove this from here for simplicity now we can easily find the value of i n double prime so i n double prime is equal to again v by r the value of voltage is 4 volt and the value of resistance is 2 ohm so it will be 2 ampere 
and again its direction is downward so this is the value of i n double prime now we can easily find the value of i n here we can see the i n double prime is also downward and the i n prime is also downward so to find i n we have to add them because the direction is same so i n is equal to i n prime plus i n double prime so it will be the value of i n prime is 5 by 3 so it will be 5 divided by 3 plus i n double prime is 2 ampere so when we solve this we get i n is equal to phi u divided by 3 then plus 2 so it is equal to 3.6 ampere 3.6 ampere or we will write in fraction to get the perfect answer so it is 11 by 3 11 by 3 ampere is the value of i n now here we can see in Norton's equivalent circuit, we can copy this. We got all the values of I n and R n, and we already have the value of R l. So let's find I l. The value of I n is 11 by 3. So here this will be 11 divided by 3 ampere. The value of R n, the value of R n is 1.2 ohm. So it is 1.2 ohm and the value of R l is this value and here this I l is equal to I. So this will be I is equal to I n is 11 by 3 multiplied by R n value is 1.2 divided by 1.2 plus 3 so therefore i is equal to let's calculate this it will be 11 divided by 3 multiplied by 1.2 divided by 1.2 plus 3 so it is 1.047 1 4, 7 ampere is the value of current I. So this is how we can find the value of current I by using Norton's theorem. Check the link in the comment section and install the app for free. Thanks for watching.